Hey, what's going on YouTube? Happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm actually trying to do this one really quick because my Hawaiian friends are here. We are going out to eat slash drink and I got a bunch of homework ah, done this morning. So I feel good enough to go and blow a couple hours out on the strip, if you will. And, uh, oh, yeah, they're here. I thought they were going to be here an hour ago and, uh, yeah, they're here now. So.
tree right there. Now, if I choose one and start picking at it and I decide not, can I go back and pick something else? I, I get. Were you working out before you enlisted, Mary Jo? Oh no. That's not, 
that's not mine. <laughs> I'm gonna cut that out. <laughs> I'm cutting that out of the video. Hey, hey, hey. I had that. <laughs> So maybe I can go into more detail about all the clips that I just randomly, seemingly randomly put together. Uh, so we went to McGuire's, it's an Irish pub, and the whole big point of this video why I was so excited to shoot it is not only because it was on St. Patrick's Day and I'm Irish and I love that whole uh, culture, but they have this burger, it's called the Grand Burger, and it's $100. So it's meat that is grind to order and it has like caviar and like some of the finest cheeses and whatever other kind of, you know, the freshest vegetables and all that other kind of stuff that they try and sell you on a burger. And it comes with a bottle of champagne and it's like this real big, like grandiose entree that I was like, I'm gonna vlog this whole thing on St. Patrick's Day. And then it turns out once we got there, they have a special menu just for St. Patrick's Day. So actually Randy uh, mentioned it to the waitress and she was like, I'm sure we could, you know, pull something up for you if we wanted. And I'm like, uh, no, we got really lucky with our seating because even though at an Irish pub on St. Patrick's Day, we got seated right away. And I should have, I don't know why I didn't vlog this, but they were like, oh, table of three? And I was like, yes, ma'am. She's like, do you need chairs? And I was like, uh, nah, not necessarily. I mean, service would be nice and maybe a table to eat on. And she was like, oh, great. We have a table for you at the bar. Oh, okay. I mean, it wasn't horrible, but it wasn't the most ideal, you know, vlogging spot. So we go up to the bar and they actually put us to a table off side of the bar. We just had a table with just the regular table items, but no stools or chairs or anything. So we were literally standing there for, I think we were there for maybe about an hour or so. So it was really hard and really funky to kind of vlog in that atmosphere. And as I was looking at the videos, you could tell it has this very dark tinge of red over it. I understand that like in bars and stuff, there's like a darker kind of lighting or scenery, but this seemed like more dark than usual. Also the walls are uh, stapled or taped whatever with one dollar bills it has over a million dollars stapled all over uh, the restaurant and whatnot so that was pretty cool so after that we were going to meet up with some people and they were in the area but they didn't uh, i don't know what happened there but we ended up going to this place called the golf this place is so beautiful and it was so dark out that this camera i i feel like this camera should photograph better than it does maybe it's something in the settings i have to figure out N nothing was picking up and it was like super blurry so i was kind of upset about that so i'm gonna figure out how to use this camera better everything's open they have some indoor spots but it's kind of it's kind of smaller but they have a bar outside they have like i don't even know what to call it like a gazebo is that the right word it's like normal land and then it just goes right into a beach right into like a river so it's like you can sit on the beach and watch the sunset with like with the river in front of you it's actually really nice so it's called the gulf if you actually want to look it up in I think it's Destin or Fort Walton Beach or Destin, Florida. Uh, if you want to check them out on Yelp, it's an exceptionally great place. But we went there, we had a couple of drinks there, and then we ended up driving. We had a DD. I would never, never do that. But we had a DD and we drove back towards McGuire's. Across from McGuire's, there's this strip. I think it's called the Boardwalk or something like that. I can't remember what the name is. I get those confused all the time because there's a couple different big spots along the same major road. But we went to uh, Jack Akuta's. So that's what you see in one of the videos there when we got sushi afterwards. So it was an interesting turn of uh, cultural events there. We had corned beef for St. Patrick's Day and then Guinness, and then we went over to Jack Akuta's, and then we had light beer and sushi. So that was pretty fun. That was a good way to end the night. Hey, what's going on, guys? So I messed up my own goal. I should have posted a video yesterday. 
Uh, I did an MRE review, but I don't know why. I just, I thought I was gonna come back early enough to edit the video that I'm going to be posting now with this video in it. So I hope everyone was able to enjoy their St. Patrick's Day. Uh, I'm a little upset with myself that I didn't stick with my goal of sticking to a video a day, even though it'll probably average out like that because today I'm gonna be posting two videos. And this is my first time ever vlogging in public besides using your phone to just normally take pictures or video or something like that. This is the first time I ever actually took out like my camera and was going around and like vlogging like like that style, selfie style. So it was uh, kind of interesting, kind of weird to get used to. Uh, a lot of people give you looks and it's just, it, it is kind of weird, but that, that doesn't bother me. It was more so like the environment and the noise level. I didn't expect it to be that loud. So that's my fault, but I'm still gonna keep trying to do a video a day. I came home and I was editing and like mid edit, I apparently just like passed out. Not from, cause I drank too much. I was just so wicked tired. I woke up early yesterday, which would have been Saturday. And I just did like, I just cranked out a bunch of homework and then we went out to Meguiar's kind of later and I was already kind of like winding down for the day, but it was still a really good time. So the audio didn't pick it up, but I did a small little clip there where I introduced um, Mary Jo and Randall Pauly. Uh, they're really cool people. I actually, if uh, they end up seeing this, thank you guys for letting me do that short little interview and being uh, not camera shy. It definitely helps not only for my channel, but also the people who have all these questions. Thank you guys for that. Uh, thank you everyone else for watching. Uh, there is going to be more of these sort of vlogs to come as I find more time. But if you don't know yet, I'll just explain to you now that I'm going through a lot of homework right now. I'm in the process of getting my bachelor's and I'm just taking one class after another. So right now I'm taking two classes and it's just like sucking the soul out of my body to write all these papers. So once these classes end, I'm only gonna take one this time instead of two because two is just taking way too much of my time. So I'm gonna take one class at a time. So hopefully I'll have more time to do more personal things that I wanna do like uh, doing my streaming channel on Twitch. If you're into Twitch or if you just wanna watch me play video games or if you wanna ask me questions in a live format and you don't wanna wait for a day or two for me to respond to you, you can go make a Twitch account and come follow me on Twitch. So that's gonna be King underscore Cappy. I'll put that in the description, but thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate your time. If you haven't taken the time yet to subscribe, go ahead and do that now. Uh, you're missing out. You really are. And trust me, my editing skills are only going to get better. The vlogs are only going to get better. And the people I interview are only going to get better. So thank you guys for your time again. I truly appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.